Ambulance Paramedics, saving lives in our communities. When we were taken over by Finney, our chiefs and our doctors were told very clearly that they were to shut up and do as the Finney told them to do because they can either be on that train or they can be under that train. Speaking here today on the record against my own employer, I'm standing in front of that train. When I came in on this job in 87, the vast majority of my academy class had a medical focus. If they weren't going to be an EMT or paramedic, they were going to be taking the opportunity to become a PA, a nurse, or a doctor. A small percentage wanted to go into police and fire. Today, that is the exact opposite of what we have. The exact opposite. These kids at the academy actually create t-shirts with that kid pissing on a, uh, on a CPR, to, um, I'm sorry, an EMT patch. It's ridiculous. Today, the vast majority of EMTs in Fidney have no desire to do medical care. They created a program, they stated, to address the diversity issues by allowing Fidney EMS employees to backdoor the open competitive firefighter exam, civil service exam. They called the program the promotion to firefighter opportunity. It works well for the fire administration agenda because every time they promote from EMS, they seed their ranks with EMTs and paramedics. I don't think anyone is blind to what they are actually trying to achieve. But they ignore one very important factor. These kids have no desire to do medicine for EMS or fire. Do you think they are going to read medical journals or other literature, keep up their skills, their knowledge? Do you think these kids on the EMS side are motivated to go back into service after doing a job? The medical director just confirmed that. It's disgusting what the system has created and detrimental to the delivery of, of good patient care. Ambulance paramedics, saving lives in our communities.